Welcome to today's session. We are working with information technology. In the previous session, we have learned about word processor, what a word processor is, what do we do in word processor, what are the various types of things in word processor. Today, we will learn in session 2, setting up writer and formatting documents. Means how can we set our writer well and we can change the look of our documents. So we are going to have four topics here, setting up writer options, formatting a document, character formatting and paragraph formatting. As we know that any document may look good only when we are working well with our document. So, first of all, we should know or we should understand that how our document is going to look, it matters a lot. So, we need to set up our writer so that we can type well. To set up the writer, we can go to settings of the same and from there we can change. Here we can see there, we can click on open office writer and uh, from here we can go to general options. Many options are given there, view, formatting ads, grid, basic fonts and many more are there. Various categories for writers, document settings. From here we can make different kind of settings. So that our document may look good when it is typed. General options, update links when loading. Depending on your work patterns, you may not want links to be updated when you load a document. For example, if your file links to other files on a network, you won't want those links to update when you are connected to the network. Second thing, update fields and charts automatically. Updating fields and charts takes time. So decide if you want fields or charts to update automatically as it may affect the performance. Setting tab stops means when we press the tab key, so where the tab should go, we can set the tab settings. And to do so, we can just click on the general options and from there, update links when loading always on the request never, we can set all such kind of things, set tab stops, whatever tab stop we will give, our cursor will jump to the same in the our document. It is about view, how our document uh, can be there on the screen, so what kind of view we need, these all settings can be done from here. Set view options from here. Then formatting ads options. Formatting is an important part of any text document as it controls how your text will appear. Many settings help and add in formatting such as position of tab marks where paragraphs has ended where you have added a line break or a page break, alignment of the text and many more such things. So what are the kind of changes, what are settings you want to make, these all you can made from, make from here. You can go to the options there, then click on formatting ads, display of paragraphs and custom hyphen, whatever you want to select the option, we can select from here. Then it is about the set of spacing and visibility area. Many options are given there in the general. You can go to grid if you want to get grid on the text on the screen work area you can choose. Formatting a document means general formatting, making the text uh, bold, italic, underline, changing the font, font size, color, this all is known as formatting a document. So our text may look good only when it is formatted well. Then character formatting, superscript, subscript, bold, italic, underline, all such kind of things which are related to characters. These all can be changed. So for this we can go to character option in the format menu. And from there we can make the selection of whatever the changes we want to make. Here are 
some kinds of uh, fonts. So for this you can click on the format menu, go to character menu and uh, you will find in font, if you want to change the font of uh, your text, font effects are given their position, hyperlink, background, many more options are there. You can change the size of the text, typeface, regular, italic, bold italic. So you can choose according to your choice from these options. Then changing case in writer. Changing case means making the text uh, small in a small letter or uh, capital letters. Capital letters are generally known as uppercase characters and uh, small letters are known as lowercase characters. So if you want to change this, then you can change accordingly. There is title case, first letter of each word may be capital, then small capitals, these can also be brought like this. So we can make such kind of changes anytime whenever our text is typed completely. To change the font color, we can go to format menu, go to character and you will find the screen there. From there you can change the color of the text. We have already learned about uh, alignment of the text on the screen. So alignment we already know that setting of the text means how our text is to appear to the left side, right side, to the center or justified. Left alignment all the text will come to the left side, center will go to the center. Right aligned all the text will be typed from right side, it will be aligned to right, justified from left to right we can type well. So generally when we want to type any matter or in document, so we make use of justified. Paragraph indentation in writer. Indentation means we already known that uh, whatever the uh, whatever the space is there between the paragraph and uh, margin, so our text may appear inside or outside. So that is known as indenting of the text. We can set it according to our choice as it is already shown here. In the picture you can understand no indentation, then left indent, the text has come to the left side, first line indentation, first line has moved a bit to the other side, then negative indentation, it is coming into the margins. Line spacing in the writer, we can give a space in the lines whenever we are typing. So we can give the space, it may be a single space or double space or one and half, it depends on us. So when we are typing any document, we can give the space between the lines. We can set the spacing between the paragraphs also and uh, we can go to format menu and then click on paragraph command, from there you can make the changes there. Paragraph border and shading can also be changed from here. So we can give the border to the paragraph or shading can be changed from here. This all is practical work. So when you are working with this, you can uh, follow it well. So hope all of you might have got something more in word processor today. And with this our second session is over. Do work with the same at home. So try to do something yourself. For changing paragraph uh, settings, you can go to format menu, click on paragraph. Paragraph dialog box will appear. All the tabs are given there. You can make use of those tabs and you can change accordingly. So you can see the change in the document and it can be seen when it is printed. After this, some uh, question answers are given there like uh, previous session. Some are solved ones, so you can learn them well. Some are unsolved, try to find them and write in your CW and there is some exercise so that also you can uh, find through reading the textbook. So all the best, have a wonderful time, good day.